Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to mix some different color fluids in Cinema 4D using X Particles 4, and we're going to render in both Cycles 4D and Arnold. So let's hop in and get cracking. Okay, we're in S22. Shift C, bring up the commander. Let's bring in a system. Turn off the icon. In our emitter, we want to just do a circle with about 25 centimeter radius. Emission rate should be hexagonal. Let's put in some jitter. That will make it so it's not so steppy. Um, let's put our radius down to about, um, let's put it to two. Uh, and then let's go to display and change this to dots. And let's make our particles blue. Okay. And then let's name this blue and hold command, drag another. Um, and let's name this one red. Red, change it over to red. And let's drag this over about 200 units. And R for rotate, spin this around 180 degrees. Uh, let's bring in a plane and let's put a collider on it. And we don't really want a lot of bounce, but we do want some friction just so they don't, they don't go everywhere. Uh, let's bring our plane down and T for scale. Okay, let's bring our emitters over. So they're kind of just right in the center there. Uh, Shift C, let's bring in a gravity and hide that from the viewport. To get this to work now, um, if we play it, they just kind of crap out there. So Shift C, fluid effects. Uh, no, sorry, uh, PBD is how we're gonna get this to work here. The, the mixing. So as of right now, they're fluid, but they're just kind of staying in their own colors. But if we turn our blend to 100%, and let's just put on a, a vibrate tags on both of these um, on our rotation, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, so it's not so uniform and some more frames on our timeline. Uh, I'm going to do Command-D and add in um, a couple subframe steps just so we have a little bit more of an accurate uh, simulation here. And it's a little hard to see at the moment. So what we're going to do is now bring in our OVDB mesher. And I'm going to lock it so that I can click both of these and drag them in. And our particle radius was about two, so let's also do two and two voxel size. Um, maybe even 1.5. And let's bring in some filters, a median and then a Gaussian. And the Gaussian will just divide that by two. And let's, I want a little bit more, um, I'm going to break down our floor a little bit more. And then let's turn off our mesher and then resim this. Okay, so now we have our particles uh, blending together. So let's let's render this now, um, so we can see. We'll go into our uh, layout here. Let's use Arnold first. This was the previous one. So first, let's make our sky. Love me some HDRI link. And we have to unlock our attributes panel and drag our color onto our tag, launch the browser. I'm going to use uh, Paradise, and this first one looks good already. And then let's fire that up. Um, let's make our uh, material now, our Arnold material. Arnold surface, standard surface, put that onto our uh, OVDB mesher. 
Now, to get this color now to come through, um, we have to go to our tags in our mesher and we have to transfer our point color and that creates this vertex color tag. So you click that and you kind of see it already working. So actually here's a good place to demonstrate the smoothing. Um, so in our mesher, let's add um, one iteration of smoothing. Let's add two. Let's add five. And that it's subtle, but it's definitely there. It smooths, it smooths the areas between where the colors are blending. So let's open up our standard surface material uh, shader and we're gonna drag this tag in and connect it into our base color. And there we have our two colors mixing uh, in Arnold. Let's brighten up our sky a little bit. Okay, and maybe let's uh, let's do this a little bit more drastic. Let's let's change it to yellow. Uh, turn off our mesher. Um, we can also uh, you know use uh, gradients here, so we can do gradient parameter. Let's change it to speed, auto, load, our rainbow preset. And uh, let's re-sim this. Actually, let's just leave this on and then I'll click on our tag so we can see. So great, I'm just gonna make a quick um, Arnold surface shadow mat, put that on there and turn off our sky. So there we go. Okay, let's do it in Cycles 4D now. So we're gonna switch over to our layout and we'll make our environment. We can just use that same tag and open up our background material and click on this, put our texture onto there and it'll load up our same HDRI and we can fire that up. Um, Let's just increase the brightness a little bit. And let's make our cycle surface principled material. Drag that onto our mesher in, on top of the, uh, the Arnold material. We can delete that if, if you want. Um, and then let's open this up. And it's the same thing, you just bring in this tag and connect it to the color channel. Okay, that should do it. All right, that's it. Hope you found it useful. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.